Hello, this is Shanna here. Um, for today's video, I'd just like to share with everybody on some of the methods that I'm using to study Korean. So this all these methods may not be applicable to everybody, but still I hope to share them with you. And if you find them useful, do let me know and leave me a comment. Thank you. So finding a notebook to jot down all the new grammar points, the vocabulary is a great way to start learning Korean. So here's a picture of my current notebook. It's my seventh one so far and I use different color pens for different purposes. It makes the notebook more colorful and remember, it's important to enjoy the learning process. So usually I don't use highlighters and I'll underline all the new vocabulary and only highlight those words that have problems pronouncing or where a special pronunciation rule applies. So for every new vocabulary, I'll input these three things. The vocabulary itself, the meaning, and the example sentence. So as you can see, I hate memorizing and I hate flashcards. I find that there's no point in forcing yourself to remember the new words and the best way is to read widely. The more you read, the more words you come across. So it's highly likely that you will come across the same few words over and over again. So by the third or fourth time you come across the word, you should remember it. Seeing the word used in different sentences and contexts also help to strengthen your memory of it. So for the method 2, it's none other than fangirling, yeah. So fangirling is the best motivation for you to learn Korean and I find that watching dramas, listening to songs and talking to yourself in Korean is also a great way of learning Korean. So I like to mumble to myself in Korean and it's a great way to practice speaking when you have nobody to talk to. So thanks for watching the video and I hope you like it. 감사합니다.